About a month ago, myself and Caleb from the Blanco channel decided to check out the up to 90% off miniature market sale. We did an entire live stream, which I'm going to link in the description below, where we went through every single page to see if these were items that we could harvest the tokens, the miniatures, and the terrain from. Now, a lot of these are games or expansions for games, and the games weren't exactly what we're after as D&D and tabletop role-playing games are concerned. We wanted the miniatures, terrain, and the tokens. So with that in mind, this is everything that I was able to purchase from Miniature Market at a one heck of a discount. And we're going to open everything up and take a look at it. And I'll share with you some of my favorite miniatures that I received in this haul. Now here's one of the items that I was really looking forward to. This is Bard Sung. And just looking at the outside of it, there's not a lot of details as to what's inside. And this is my first look. So let's open it up. So the reason I was excited about this is exactly why you see there is a lot of terrain. So check out all of these terrain pieces. And of course, if you're familiar with the puzzles on my YouTube channel, I do a lot of trap and puzzle videos where I use a lot of different pieces of terrain. And all of this is going to come in handy. I really like these steps here. I'll probably paint these first. I've got an idea for these already. And of course, probably one of the best parts are the levers. You can never have too many levers. I use them a lot in my games. Now, I'm not too sure what these are. Maybe there's some type of a wall. They don't really look like a door. They don't open. But maybe I can come up with something creative with these. To be honest, I think that's a little bit too big of a box for all this terrain. I mean, it's very well packaged, which I can appreciate, but that is just a huge box. I mean, it takes up a lot of room. So I, I like the box. I will probably use it for something else, but I'm going to take the terrain pieces out and I will probably stow them away somewhere else. So next up we have Journey Wrath of Demons, and I just can't tell you how big this box is. So this looks like an interesting game. There's all kinds of different things that are going to be included, as we're going to see here in a little bit. But of course, I'm after the miniatures and the terrain, and there's 21 finely detailed miniatures inside this box. But there's also some map tiles, and map tiles do interest me. Usually I do my puzzle and trap videos on my vinyl chess X mat, but I'm always open to the idea of using some tiles if they make sense and if they look nice. So again, just a massive box and right off the bat here, oh wow, check that out. There's actually a miniature behind there. I would never would have thought to look underneath that. So we have four miniatures that are inside here and each of them have different colors. And an interesting base, this square plastic. I've never seen anything like that before. But what I wanted to get to is this on the backside. What is this? Look at that guy. That is intimidating. That is one hell of a monster. I actually might want to paint this one. And it looks like it sets there just like that. Super cool. What type of monster is this in your D&D game? Be sure to leave a comment below. Okay, so these tiles interest me. This is really cool. You could have some type of a battle here on top of this platform. There's all kinds of different tokens that you could punch out. You can definitely use these in a D&D game. And look at all of these extra miniatures. And it's funny that I'm actually doing a Minotaur maze puzzle. And now I have plenty of Minotaurs to be able to use. I'll have to get these painted up. That is really cool. Now I do want to take an extra look at these tiles and see what we have inside here. So we have this initial tile and they are two-sided. That is really cool. You can have single battles on this. I can absolutely see these being used for D&D. And not only that, but I could also come up with some good uses for these as the background or the floor or ground for my puzzle and trap videos. Those are super neat. And there's this white box here. I almost didn't even see it. And it's full of stuff as well. So it looks like we have some cards to play the game. Some really cool looking dice. I don't know if that is something we'd be able to use. 
I imagine they're probably central to the game. And again, it looks like some more pieces for the game itself, along with some spin tokens and things of that nature. So really cool. I am very excited about this, especially the Minotaur miniatures, because I definitely am going to be using those in a future puzzle video. In fact, the Minotaur maze puzzle is going to be in my next book. Now it's time to open up Alter Quest, and this is the Stretch Goals box, and the way that Caleb explained it to me, this is going to be stock full of miniatures, and I hope so, because this is the one that I spent the most money on. So with that in mind, let's open it up and see what we have inside. Whew! Okay, so right away we're going to see that we have 135 miniatures that are going to be in this box. That is quite a few, but we are first presented with a board, and let's see what this looks like. Ah, very cool. So this looks like our game board, or a game board, and this again could be some type of dungeon that you could put together for your players if you so desire. It's probably nothing that I would use, but it is cool nonetheless. Now let's take a look at all of the goodies inside. I'm so excited about this. We've got some really cool dice. I could probably do some things with this. We've got like fire and water and a few other symbols. Now I know they're central to the game, but I'm sure we can come up with some creative ideas. We've got a couple of miniatures here. Looks like a werewolf and, and whatnot. And I, you know, I could probably point out every single one and that's gonna take us forever. So let's just take a look at these and I'll do a few screenshots of my favorites. Wow, 60 miniatures, my goodness, there's so many of them. And then this is also filled with all of these cards. Now this again is part of the game, so I don't believe that there's anything that I would be able to do with any of these. So I will probably just put these as game pieces for the game and slide them onto eBay and see if I can get a few dollars back from them. And one more look, this is probably my favorite tray out of them all. We've got this little cage over here, which is really neat. This fountain is awesome. Check that out. Oh, that is super cool. And some other train features. Look at this portal. That is, oh, that's amazing. Lots of ideas come to mind from this. So yeah, I am super excited about Alter Quest Stretch Goals. We got a lot of neat miniatures that I'll be able to use in my games and my puzzle videos. I did snag two of the box of zombies. We have VIP set number 10 for Zombicide and Angry Zombies. Now, I am planning on doing some Halloween things and especially videos and I'm going to need some zombies and I thought this would be the perfect way to have those zombies present. So there's our first squad of zombies. They're all brown painted and different running positions and poses. Looks like we have a few survivors and we have some zombies. So a neat set of humanoid and undead. Now VIP set number two is the one that I'm super excited about. Well, that's kind of cool. That's a little bit different. This one slides out as you just seen and VIP set two we actually lift the lid off and this actually might be my container to keep all of these in. Of course, I'm going to take them out of this plastic. Now I have absolutely no use for the card, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those, but these are really neat. I was super excited about this one just for the novelty. We have Santa Claus zombies, police, construction, sailors, chefs, and so on. So this is going to be fun to paint. And honestly, if I was playing an in life real game, having a zombie Santa or a zombie chef or police, I guess that is police, not a chef, but a zombie police officer, I think it would just be fun and add a little bit of comedy. Now this was an easy buy, especially on sale. This is WizKids Deep Cuts, and I can't even tell you how many times I probably looked at this as I was in my local game store and just never ended up picking it up. But now, got it on clearance, and I'm extremely excited about it. 
So as you can see there, a lot of great miniatures and terrain. I really love this throne. I've had some problems painting thrones that were from other companies. The paint was really sticky afterwards, so I'm excited to have a new one that I can add. And there's even a little dude here that can sit in the throne. That's super cool. So this is definitely going in a pile of two paint later or as needed for a future video. So this Yashima box was actually really cheap on Miniature Market with the clearance, but we only picked it up for the three miniatures that are inside because there's not much of anything else. And as we open and take a look at this, you're going to be able to see that there is a lot of empty space. There's nothing on the sides. So this was packed really well. And this is the miniature that we were looking for. Just this little dude with the lantern. I think he's really cool. We'll probably paint him up and put him in future videos. And then we've got two bonus miniatures as well. This one here I'm not even going to open up. This is just a hanging cage. And I will probably do some type of a trap video with this in the future. This is a WizKids item. And uh, yeah, that is, it is what it is. So here's one of the things that I took a chance on Folklore, the Addiction Crafting Recipes and Card Pack. And the reason that I got this is I thought it would have some really cool ideas for either like a puzzle or some kind of crafts or recipes that I could use for like a tavern or something like that in my D&D campaign. But it looks like it's mainly just like pieces or items that you could find in this game. And there's very little to do. I mean, there are instructions for crafting and things like that, but I've done through this whole thing and there's really nothing that I can use for D&D. So I'm going to carefully put this back in the box and I'm going to list this on eBay and see if I can get a few dollars out of it. Otherwise, is going to land permanently in a junk drawer and so that's going to do it for us that is my 90 up to 90 percent off miniature market haul what did you think of it what are some of your favorite miniatures in there are there any of these game pieces that i should be keeping are there some of these games that i should be trying and what miniatures are are you most fond of that have any of them inspired you to for an encounter for a trap a puzzle or something along those lines leave a comment below also let me know if you also took advantage of miniature markets up to 90 percent off sale and what you ended up getting and don't forget that i'm going to link caleb's video so be sure to go over and check up his pickups thank you very much for watching and on to the next